Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another Foundry React. Today we are going to be reacting to a very interesting trailer, but I'm joined with two lovely guests. Today we have John and we got, of course, Schlar. How are we doing, boys? What's up? Spectacular, man. I'm happy to enter the wasteland. Yeah, this is going to be great. So today we are doing Fallout, the teaser trailer, the Prime Video one. So, uh, boys, are you excited? I'm very excited. I'm a little skeptical. I've heard a lot of mixed things by nerds because there's a lot of people who enjoy fallout and there's a lot of people who don't enjoy fallout and the people who do not enjoy fallout are the avid lovers of the earlier games and uh i i just see a lot of uh people like battling each other just fallout fans like a civil war of like does this look good does this look shit so i'm kind of curious myself i'm like which line i'm gonna be on i'm curious too i have seen like nothing for this yet so it's gonna be great i'm excited Okay, let's let's go. are we ready, boys? Yeah, let's do it. Hell yeah. I know what I've lived. <laughs> this looks I'm goofy, dude. This life. is pretty bad. Stop! Lucy! Dwellers are an endangered species. Same place in Los Angeles. Oh, dude, look at the red roach. Do Fuck yeah. You would be willing that was pretty to nasty. I like that. To survive up here. Tumbleweed. <laughs> uh, Fuck you, Don Howard. Fucking if you insist on staying. <laughs> God damn, guys. Hey, it's been Linus from Lost. Dog me! Fuck oh. that shit up, boy! Uh -huh. Oh, dude, it's dog me. It's dog me, dude. dude. Some bird of birds. <laughs> oh hell yeah! Some heli no. bird of birds. Oh, soundtrack's gonna be great. Oh, dude! Oh! oh. Wow! <laughs> oh, this is this looks awesome. Wow, this is like a big uh, variety. Oh, is that Walton Goggins? <laughs> Dang a lang, Vault Dweller. It is Walton oh, okay. Goggins. Whoa, Damn. that's a lot of gore. Is that a Cyclops? That is a Cyclops. Oh, it is. This looks fucking cool. <gasps> Yao Guai! Oh, the Yao Guai! Dude, this looks fucking cool. Whoa. I think that was Walton Goggins. Before that was, moved. actually. Yeah. That unironically was. Oh shit, dude. It's home. I'd nuke fucking San Francisco, too. <laughs> dude, you don't, look, you don't see, have to make a movie GTA about map it. map right there. <laughs> Small map. That actually looks fucking class. That is look really cool. I kind of wish we could have seen more like the weapons or whatever. I heard a lot of complaints about that. But yeah, yeah there was give me some uh, what LG forty two and fucking pipe pistol baby. Mm. Oh I saw Jesus! The in there as well. They had like the fucking World War two weapon. I yeah, I know. The... Um, I'm actually gonna send you guys the photo that everyone is complaining about of the the big gun. Um, really quickly while we still talk about that. But man, that looked that looked really good. I don't know what people are talking about. That was like a huge variety of like what they showed. That looked amazing. I'm really excited so for that. At the beginning, I can see how it kind of looked kind of like corny or cheesy yeah. a little bit. Like especially her coming out of like the fucking vault. But I don't know. Yeah, like especially everything inside, like where everything was going like crazy and whatnot. And you saw the Pridwin or I don't know if that's like one of the Pridwin or like the three ships before or whatever. Oh. But um, that looks interesting. I'm very excited. Oh, I mm -hmm. see the gun you're talking about. Yeah, apparently um, everyone had a big deal, a big issue with that. And they're like, oh, it's more Fallout 4 accurate than Fallout 3 or New Vegas. And it's like... I think it's the size that's pissing people off. Yeah, it's a big fucking machine gun. So I think... Yeah. That's your, yeah, that's your standard run-of-the-mill. Kylo, don't quote me on it. Um, Just regular old uh, machine gun that they yeah, have. It's not the, not the Gauss it's rifle or anything. No, that's just an assault rifle. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's about, like, the size. I mean, it would be more accurate if, like, the dude is holding it. Maybe, like, 
I don't know, a foot less than what it is, but right. They're trying to show big guns for like big dudes and whatnot. Yeah, he's wearing the power armor, you know, which is yeah. Fucking I feel like awesome they should have just have. gone with the Gauss rifle or like a laser rifle or something like that. Like everything looks heard. puny, like in the game. Whenever like someone's in power armor and you're holding that gun, even in yeah. like, Fallout Four. But... Actually, that would have been perfect time for them to have him holding the fat boy. There you go. I'm sure we'll have yeah. that. That would have been perfect. Or just like a simple. Like, they could have had like the um that electric. Uh, I I forget the name of it. Uh, electromagnetic weapon. Yeah, that one death. Oh, machine, the Tesla rifle. The electric one. That takes like fusion coils. You I fucking agree. nerds! No, yeah. this this looks this looks really fucking cool. It, just, just, just even watching it, I feel like that person's a follower. That person's a follower. You know, like there's the Brotherhood of Steel quest line. It feels very video gamey in the even the structure of the trailer. This might be like something decent. You know, I almost threw up the other day when I was hearing a podcast. People were talking about narrative driven games. And someone said, The Last of Us is a better show than it is a game. And I wanted to vomit. Oh, God, that would make me fucking, like, literally purge. I wanted to purge my goddamn stomach because of how bullshit that is. And I'm like, I have not enjoyed a lot of TV recently. And I'm like, man, if this Fallout show is any fucking good, which I totally hope it is, because there is so much creativity that they can go off the fucking wall with, you know? Which is, like, that's great for them. That's awesome. It's like, you don't have to follow, like, the, the lore, like so accurately because you give a fresh location you write Absolutely. your own fucking rules which I, hopefully it is a fresh location i would prefer yeah i don't want to see any established characters none of that shit yeah i mean like dog meat's a cool reference but dog meat is like it, it's like uh garrett's horse you know yeah roach yeah, yeah, yeah exactly which the is same like, equivalent yeah. exactly he's like anything's fucking roach you know that's mm -hmm. that's what it feels like with that but i i'm excited for this this looks good Kylo, as our as our Fallout specialist here, what do you what do you got to say about it? Like I said, um, I can see why people complained about like that gun or whatever. Um, I kind of do wish they could have gone more like a Fallout New Vegas or uh, maybe one or two stance, but like we don't know. Like it showed a lot of stuff. Like it showed like I think some of the West Coast and the East Coast shit. So. Yeah, it, it looked like a kind of a West Coast uh, like pier type of setting. It kind of looked like a lot. I was gonna make a Los Santos joke actually. That's what it was. It was that same location. They were showing, fun. yeah, the FBI, the housing. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. But yeah, I, now I'm definitely excited, especially to see like how they uh, play upon ghouls and like they didn't show it, but like the super mutants and like maybe behemoths and that's, shit like that. That's like, a very good all point. All these fucking like creatures that could be like, it's, it's very exciting. I'm curious how they're going to go with it. Yeah. When I look like the one ghoul that was wearing kind of the Hawaiian shirt, it was like stepping out of the house, you know, like out into the outside area like that looked like a fucking cool oh man i'm just so excited what they're gonna show i i there's there's just so many things from so many different games that they could show i mean we saw rad roaches and we saw a ghoul but not a feral ghoul you know i, yeah, really like, see feral I will ghouls. be very upset if we don't see like a pack like a horde of fucking feral ghouls that they have to like fight and shit like if that, it's well, that is definitely from, apocalypse where's the wind to go at for real yeah do you do you remember fucking uh the last of us when we saw like three episodes without seeing one fucking clicker I can't believe that awesome i like to think about it awesome stuff okay i'm 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 hyped i'm very pleased with that that's awesome man uh anything else you guys i'm definitely excited to see because like with the whole cyclops thing i'm wondering like are they going to showcase mutations as like a joke and like how you can get rid of them or is it going to be so, like more uh, of a permanence one thing? thing i was curious about because he wore like a vault suit and like yeah. i wonder if it was like one of the experiments that like vault tech might have done on like people like, i did i did see different. someone say that might be the case but they're making the argument saying like why would the overseer be like experimented on wouldn't the overseer be in charge of the experiments but there are some cases where the entire vault including the overseer are all like subjects That's yeah and then, like all the games really yeah there's like multiple scenarios for like each of the games but like a lot of the time the overseer is in the loop but some cases like it's um, just all one big social experiment where there's someone yeah, on top basically. even of the overseer all right. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching this uh, newest react on the Fallout show. Let us know what your guys' thoughts down below in the comments. And we shall see you later on the next Foundry video. But until then, bye, you guys. Bye.